Hello everyone and SP Malaysia. Today we're going to uh, learn about Form 4 MX. This, this is a video 3 for inverse function. So before that, I hope you can subscribe my channel and also click the button to follow our future video updates. Okay, so let's start now. Okay, about inverse, uh, maybe uh, many students will confuse like, what is inverse actually? Upper two feng si song sang. Okay, so I need to tell you about the feng si song sang. Uh. Remember or not, uh, we got a normal function, fx. For example, uh, uh, actually fx is y uh, if you know. Uh, okay, so let's say I say y is equal to 3x plus 1. Okay, contoh, eh. Then if let's say, saya cakap, uh, when x is equal to 2, can you tell me what is the y? We just put in the formula, y is equal to 3x, x to 2, so 3 times 2 plus 1. 3 times 2 plus 1 is 7. So you can say when x is 2, y is 7. Okay, then, What's it mean by song sang pula? Song sang is, if I ask you, when y is 4, what is your x? How can I know my x? Okay, normally we just put in the y4, then we find x, right? But now, we want to find song sang. Song sang maksudnya kita kena cari x to upper. The formula for x, not formula for y. So, normal function is y equals to something. Then, Inverse, song sang maksudnya function of x. So we just rearrange. Uh, y is equal to 3x plus 1. So y minus 1 is equal to 3x. So x sama dengan y minus 1 divide 3. So this is our song sang. Okay, song sang x sama dengan y tolak 1 per 3. Then this is a normal function. This is a inverse function. So I can solve the question. When y is 4, what is my x? So you just put in the 4 minus 1. 4 minus 1 over 3. Then 4 minus 1 is 3. 3 over 3 is 1. So you can say when y is 4, x is 1. So do you understand what's my uh, inverse already? Inverse means... The balik, I want to find another alphabet. So you need to find the function uh, equation for another uh, alphabet. Okay, contoh lah. Sini saya bagi beberapa uh, contoh. Ah. Dia punya step sikit saja. You just need to memorize on it. Okay, you take the fx become y. Ah. Okay, we got, I, I write down the summary for you. Step one, this is for inverse. Ah. Inverse function. Ataupun fungsi song sang. So step one. Step one. Change fx become y. So this fx become y equals to 1 per 2x minus 9. Then I want to find my what? Like just now uh, example I tell you already. They give formula is in terms of x for y, right? Formula for y in terms of x. Then inverse, maksudnya saya nak cari x. So step two, step two, find x. Carikan x kita. So kita shift semua pergi y sana. Y, negative 9 become positive 9. It's equals to 1 per 2x. Okay, half of x is equal to y plus 9. So how about x? Then 1 per 2 move to the left side become times 2 per 1. So y plus 9 times 2. 2 per 1 lah. So it's 2 lah. So you can expand it. 2y plus 18. Then, okay, we find x right here. Eh? x sama dengan 2y plus 18. Step 3. 
you change the x become inverse f. Okay, function and uh, inverse function f negative one x, and then your y change to x. So maksud dia x jadi f inverse x, and then two y become two x plus eighteen. So this is inverse function. Okay. I try to teach you one more. Okay, so I share it untuk kamu untuk e ya. E is a fraction. I use the same formula. First step, change the fx become y. So y is equals to three over x minus one. Itu a uh, comma x equals not equals to one ah. Uh. This one you can ignore ah. Uh. This one means that the x cannot be one. Why cannot be one? Because one minus one becomes zero. Then three over zero, you press your calculator. Three over zero, you what you get? You will get error. So x cannot be one. Okay, itu tak ada maksud apa apa lain. Cuma cakap x tu tak boleh satu. Step two, find your x. So how to find your x? This one x minus one bring up ah. So y times x minus one is equal to three. Then kembangkan dulu. Y x minus y equals to three. I still need to find x. Ah, I haven't find my x. Ah. So I move the negative y to right side. So x y sama dengan tiga tambah y. Now I want to find my x. I move the y to the right side. So it become. So it will become three plus y over y. Okay, now I already done step two. I want to find step three. Step three, you just change the x become inverse function, and then y become x. So three plus x over x. Then finish. Okay, it's not so difficult to find inverse function. Eh? Okay, then, if let's say I know inverse function, got any uh, thing is good for doing other question? Yes, because inverse function can help us to find uh, function in the composite. Like I got composite function, I can do in, uh, I can use the inverse function to find the single function. Okay, what's me my dad? Ah? Okay, I teach you another one. Okay, you can see this question. Here got fx and fg. Then they ask you to find g. How to find g? Ah? Okay, I teach you something. Ah. If let's say I give you fg, Okay, f g x. I want to find g. You need to remove the f. How to remove the f? Then you see where is the f. F is in front. Ah. if in front, then in front of the f, I put inverse. Inverse f times f. Then this one will cut. No more already. I left g. Then if let's say I got f g. I want to find f. I don't want g. So you want to remove the g. Then you see the G. Where is the G? G at the behind. G at behind. Then I put G inverse at behind. So the function of inverse uh, is to cut. Lah. To cut the composite function. Then to find the single function. Okay. Then I teach you another one. Let's say my question terbalik. GF. Okay, let's say my function is GF function. Then I want to find G. Then you see where? Uh, I want to find G, I want to remove the F. So to remove the F, you see, the F is at behind. Eh? So I put the inverse at behind. Like this, to remove the F. Then if let's say, I want to remove G to find F. So the G is in front, then you put a G inverse in front. 
to remove the G, then I left my F. Understand? Okay, here. I want to find my G, so you need to remove the F. Okay, so let me show you. Uh, to remove the F, you need to find inverse F first. Okay, I need to find inverse F. Fx is 2x plus 1. Okay, follow my step just now. Change Fx become y. 2x plus 1. Then step 2, cherry x. So become y minus 1 is equals to 2x. Step, uh, it's still step 2. Eh? Need to find x. So x is equals to y minus 1 over 2. Okay, step 2 are you done? Do step 3. X change to F inverse. Then your Y change to X. Okay, now you already get your inverse. Then I can use this inverse to remove the F to find the G. Okay, so I remove the F. F, F G, X is equals to 2x minus 6. Eh? Then to find gx, I need to remove the f. So I need to put the inverse. Okay, you see, eh? f in front, so I put the inverse in front of the f. Like this. So inverse f times fg, I will left g. Okay, so to find gx, I put the inverse f in front. So basically, it's like this. Lah. Okay, we know that fx, ah, f inverse x is x minus 1 over 2. Then I want to remove, I put the fgx, this one. I put this one inside the x. Inside the x of f inverse. If you don't so understand, then you can see here. Means that I put F inverse. Then FGX, I put inside. So 2X minus 6. Like this, then you should understand already. I put the 2X minus 6 inside the inverse. Okay, so the X changed to 2X minus 6. Then minus 1 over 2. Only the x change, uh, the minus 1 and over 2 maintain. Uh. Okay, then over 2, 2x two minus 6 minus 1 become minus 7. Then you get answer ready. Your gx is 2x minus 7 over 2. Okay. So now I try one more for you, which is a uh, different a bit. Okay, here. This one they give you gx, and then they give you fgx. You need to find your f. So to find my f, I need to remove the g. To remove the g, I need to find inverse g. Okay, so I find inverse g. Follow the step. Step one. Gx become y. Step two, I need to find my x. So the two move to left side. Y minus two is equals to x. Or I can say x is equals to y minus two lah. Then step three, x change to g inverse. Then your y change to x. Okay, then finish already for inverse. Then, I want to find fx, right? But they give us fg. So, I want to remove the g. The g is at behind. So, I put g inverse behind. Okay, so it means that the g inverse is put inside the fg. So it's equals to fg x minus 2. Instead of x, this x I change to x minus 2. 
inside this X. Okay, so I put inside. So this X and X, I changed to X minus 2. Eh? X minus 2 squared plus 4X. So 4X minus 2 plus 7. Then this one got bracket. X minus 2, X minus 2. Expand it. This one also expand it. 4X minus 8 plus 7. And then this uh, two bracket, you just times the first one times the 1, 3, 1, 4, 2, 3, 2, 4. So x times x, x squared. x times negative 2 become negative 2x. Negative 2 times x become negative 2x. Negative 2 times negative 2, you will get positive 4 plus 4x minus 8 plus 7. Okay, then we can do simplification. X squared minus 2x minus 2x plus 4x. No more already. 4 minus 8 plus 7. So get 3. So fx basically is x squared plus 3. Okay, then finish already for today's lesson. I hope you understand how to do inverse and why we're going to do inverse. Okay, so we also have full online tuition. Eh? If let's say you are interested to join our full online tuition, please click the link in the description box or you can PM us in the Telegram and Facebook for more information. Thank you.